boys, we may have done it. We're pretty. guys so we got some huge shit out to you guys we're starting this $500 sherp challenge you invite us out you have a place to go that you've got Argo stuck you've got truck stuck you've got everything out you think you can get the sherp stuck we're starting a challenge right now $500 sherp challenge invite us out if we get stuck I'll pay you $500 we're out here at Prairie Rose Outfitters they're our challenge number Quill one Lakes. challenge in Quill Lakes they have spots where they've got <laughs> they've got unknown amount of Argo stuck really crappy alkaline sort of mud stuff that's pretty scary so we're out here we're gonna test this thing to the limits and if we get stuck we're paying them five hundred dollars <laughs> Okay, like usual, doing oh. we're doing a terrible job of <laughs> you hooked it exactly on the handle. We're doing a terrible job of documenting. We got into some really good stuff here, so Mrs. Austin the rescue. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna see how hold on, it's like really gushing. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> That's why we're having such a problem here. So we're in this uh, V-notch, um, and it's basically just goo on each side. So basically, we're trying to get turned to get out. So. Smells better out here. So it's not too bad up here. Definitely gooey down there. But in order to get out of there, it's like really kind of jammed in there. Near the suction. Managed it. Mr. Managed. Okay. So yeah, so that so was awesome. Were you guys go okay back there? And we got a whole, we got a whole cabin full. So that was, that was an awesome little test. And uh, like I was telling him, it's not impossible to get the shirt stopped where you gotta really kind of do some techniques, but uh, it's, it's pretty tough to get them stuck. So that was a really nice little V notch there. And it was real greasy mud. It was hard for us to get turned. But once we got a little bit of a turn and we can use both all four tires to climb out, no problem. All right, next one. Mint. Okay, so we went through pretty nasty stuff over there. I just walked through that, so. But yeah, it's definitely. It's definitely. Oh. Oh. I 
Okay. Get stuck. There you go. I close my eyes usually. Chicken shit. There you go. Down there? No. It's deep. Good. You like my narration? We won't. It won't make it. Okay. <laughs> All right. For me, right. <laughs> okay, guys. So we might need to call Heavy D in for this uh, recovery here. So tell us a story about how this thing got here. All right. So a number of years ago, when they were raising this highway here, winter time, they were walking this uh, track hole across the uh, ice, and they forgot the water flows through here, and the ice got thinner. They dropped the track hole. They had two cats trying to pull it out. They got cats stuck, they got winch trucks in, they broke cables on the winch trucks, they got the cat out, and they just give up on it. And that's been sitting here now, I'm gonna say, boy, coming up on 10 years. Oh, wow. Seven or eight years. Yeah, yeah. It's way more than that, right? Wow. I've been around for 15. It's been years since I got out here. Uh, yeah. 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 test to see how capable it is of kind of smashing through something like this. It's all dead debris. Sounds nasty.
So this is pretty gooey and we'll see what she does. Say reverse. <laughs> oh no. I'm assuming he's airing down anymore. She is tight. She's really bad. Yeah. I'm not that concerned yet. Boys, we may have done it. We're pretty. This side's at least getting the treads washed off. So we got our PSI down to down to a bowl, just under one PSI. So we're just barely moving. Oh. So this would basically this is what I would call the Sherp's basically nemesis is just really 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 bad loon shit. But to combat that, it would be we we still have, we still have a lot of people in here, but to combat that uh, is get the weight out and uh, just drop your tires down all the way and then you just you just leave her in gear here and uh it just slowly crawls out like we made i don't know or maybe a few feet we've made so far so inch by inch but we don't have much to go we'll be good but holy smokes this side's at least getting nice washed off not this side We're mo moving. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty. So everyone's like, why don't you air your tires down? Because the tires look so pumped up. But if you could see the bottoms, they are completely flat. We're, run we're under one PSI right now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you need to step lightly. <laughs> okay, I'll just uh, try a couple things. We'll see what happens. Alright, so he's got lots of 
traction on the drag grass there. So we should be able to pull them off no problem. Hopefully. Stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. We wouldn't go. We wouldn't go very far in there. I buried one in there before. So this is the, this is the ultimate testing pool. Maybe eighteen hundred horsepower, skimmer. <laughs> That was crazy, guys. Look at this pile of poo right there. So at one time, this was a dugout, but it's just all silted in. It's probably 15 feet deep. Oh, yeah. It was all filled in with silt. Wow. Just literally bottomless silt. You want to talk about, <laughs> about a, good, <laughs> a healthy challenge? There you go, right there. This side, side stayed pretty clean. It was out in the water a bit. Man, I want to say at the end, those logs kind of hurt us because then they kept the tires from able, being able to chew the bank. Who knows, another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But definitely, definitely that was uh, what I would call a stuck. on freaking real. <laughs> it's kind of exciting because <laughs> You know, you've been in uh, so many situations and so much terrain and been able to get yourself out. So when you get into a spot where it's just really like, even you're like, that's impressive. That's something else. Heck yeah. What did we learn from today? Okay, we learned that. <laughs> you guys, our very first 500 challenge, 500 dollar challenge and we're already paying out, but that was freaking awesome. Huge thanks to Prairie Rose Outfitters for inviting us out. So we had an awesome day and then the, he saved, he said he saved the best for last. Like a 15 foot dugout that has just been silted in and silted in. So 15 feet of pure freaking goo. I got so stuck. Boom, and we got stuck. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna pay him and we're gonna say thank you. And we had a freaking awesome day. So it's a win So hey, but we, we didn't cheat and use a winch, right? No, no, I'm and I'm saying for the 500 hour challenge, you have to get out under the Sherp's own power. If you have to winch or someone has to pull you, that's considered stuck. So yeah. If we spend another 20 minutes there, who knows? It was moving slightly, but uh, we we're calling that stuck. So let's go give them the cash. All right. So they have a really cool little place here. Yeah, and people safe. come and camp and there's like a little seated area. There's barbecues, there's uh, places to stay. There's little trailers. It's pretty awesome. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. This, this is the walk of shame. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm considering that stuck. So we're paying up $500, but I just want to say thanks for having us out. We had an awesome time. Welcome to the Quill Lakes. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Freaking right. Awesome. Lake. All right. Like, that cool. lake might get you every time. Yeah. All right. So appreciate you having us out. We had, we had a freaking blast. So this shirt smells like if you guys had smell of vision at home. Mm -hmm. yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> like All smell. right. Yeah, exactly. Cheers, everybody. Awesome. Woo! Thank you very much. Right on.